We have new information for you tonight on a human trafficking case out of Portsmouth. And we've been tracking this one for a while, but since Friday when there were some new developments. So 13 News reporter Natalie Wada, she joins us now live where she's been digging into the death of a key suspect scheduled to go on trial in January. So Natalie, what did you find out? Well, Marilee, Amanda, behind me is the former law office of Michael Marin. Just a few moments ago, I got off the phone with his attorney. He tells me Marin died in a hospital on Friday. And now, of course, we don't have the official cause of death just yet, but his attorney tells me Marin did have a history of heart issues. Investigators suspected Marin of working with a city judge to release female suspects on bail or parole in order to traffic them as prostitutes. His charges list six female victims but some we spoke with speculate that there may have been many more. Now with his passing, many in the community are left wondering what's next for this case and whether victims in the case and their families will find any answers. I feel that to honor them and to uh, respect the risks that they took and respect the horrendous things that they went through, that this investigation can't die, that it has to go forward. We've reached out to the Ohio Attorney General's office and are waiting to hear back on what the next steps in this case will be. However, uh, Moran's lawyer anticipates the case will be dismissed once a death certificate is issued. Now, coming up tonight on 13 News at 6, I speak with the Scioto County Sheriff about what the issue of prostitution and human trafficking really looks like locally. For now, reporting live in Portsmouth, Ohio, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. All right, Natalie, thanks for that report.